um, I, it's my day off. I have to do all my plans and uh, ay magandang umaga pala sa lahat ng nanonood. Um, Nambag nga al daw tayo amin apo. Um, at tuyak manen ikit balbin po bring hawayana. Nagtatanim ng mga halahalaman ng kung, kung ano-ano. Okay. Um, ano ba ang pag-uusapan natin? Magbigay ko naman kayo ng topic. Ako ay way, uh, busy busy lang sa kasi day off ko. Busy ako. Naglalaba ako. One load is done. I have to do my other uh, next load. Ne ah, next load na pala. Next load na. Habang naghihintay, I am doing my plans because this is the only the day off that I have. Okay. Um, so, uh, mag-replant na lang ako kasi I have a lot of plants that need to be repot. Okay. Uh, dito lang umiikot ang aking buhay dito sa Hawaii. Talaga, mahirap ang buhay ng isang Hawaiiana. Uh, life, life is hard here. Being a uh, pobring, a poor Hawaiian lady. Okay. Uh, ito, magtanim-tanim na lang ba? Habang nagchichismis, Marami akong chismis guys, pero baka <laughs> baka <laughs> baka mako ako ay ma-intro pero ang mga chismis sa mga YouTube, huwag kayo maniwala kasi chismis lang 'yun, wala lang kaming masabi sa mga YouTube namin. Kaya <laughs> magsalisalita na lang kami. 'Yun lang. Okay. <laughs> ay 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 ay. Matay. Ay sus up this ko. Napudot. Ma, ano na dito sa Hawaii, it's hot now, you know. But if you go under the under the shade, it's not it's not hot. You can still tolerate the heat. Kasi hindi naman gaano hindi kagaya ng mainland na naaabot ng 100. Dito naman ano, I think it's still in the middle mid 80s or not not even 90. Eh maganda ang Hawaii, dai. Kayo magpunta na lang dito sa Hawaii kasi ang Hawaii, it's true, it's expensive but then maganda naman ang climate dito. Kanya lang, we are not going nowhere, we are just trapped in one small island. Masabi ko nga, napaka, this place is so expensive but I, but I don't know why we still like to stay here. We tried to stay in the mainland, but then my husband don't want to stay there because he is allergic to um, to cold. Um, he's uh, he's developing hives if we stayed in the mainland. Maski pumunta lang sa ocean dito, parang lechon siya pagka ano sa namumula siya. So. So ako na lang ang palagi ninyong nakikita dito sa You see me all the time here under the sun because my husband cannot uh, cannot handle yeah he cannot he, he cannot handle heat he cannot handle cold so ako na lang ako naman ang sanay sa I am used to the farm I used to stay uh, I grow up in agriculture so nagtatanim ng palay, naggagapas, nag uh, lahat name it. I know I I can do it, you know. Kasi do naman kami lumaki. Kinalakan na kami ng tatay namin sa hirap. So what is he told us if you don't want to go to school, you come with me. Um stay with me to uh, go in a farm, plant rice. Sige na lang. Um, Mahirap din. Oh, ito na lang ang topic natin kung where we came from. What, um, how hard, how hardship we experience in the Philippines while growing up. Oh, yun na lang pala ang topic natin. Okay, if you guys wanted to know. Ang dami-dami namin, we were, uh, we are, we were eight. I mean, we were ten. We were ten uh, siblings. So, maski mayroon ka namang, mayroon ka namang, ano, may, mayroon kang farm, you have, you know, mayroon namang farm ang tatay namin, pero, uh, it's not enough to sustain all the uh, schooling and 
pagkain. So, because we were 10, you know, we, sabi nga nila, uh, dapat daw, uh, we were 12. Pero the two, uh, they died when they were 8 months old. So, sampu kami. And then one of my sister passed away here when he, uh, she came in Hawaii. She was 60 years old at that time. So, uh, yun. So, ang tatay namin, kung ayaw niyong mag-aral, if you don't want to go to school, you have to come to the farm, you know what he did. He bring us over there. He, um, I didn't want to go to school already before, kasi mahirap na ang mawalay sa magulang, ano. I, we're gonna go to Manila, and then um, I'm gonna get homesick. It's too far. So, ayaw ko na mag-aral noon. I was just uh, wanted to stay in the farm. So my dad said, okay, come on, if you guys, if you don't want to go to school, come here. One o'clock at the middle, of, one o'clock, you know how um, how hot is the Philippines. It's very hot. Dadalhin ka doon, yung tubig, the water is so hot. You emerge your, your, your feet, your legs over there in the hot, and then you plant rice. It's like a boiling water that you go there. So, napag-isip-isipan ko, mag-aral ka na lang kasi uh, gano'n naman ang gagawin ng tatay ko. One time, one time, he told me, come on, let's go to the farm. Let's go already. One o'clock dahil, mga one o'clock. So, um, we passed by by the, by the road. It's ipil-ipil on the side of the road. So, it's so hot. So, what I did, I... I stay on the shade, I waiting over there, and then when my father, I was, I saw my father was coming, I scared to my father, yeah, because he's a strict man, um, he was a very strict man, so I stay, on, and then when I saw him, he was coming, and then I was going to, so he did not scold me on that. Talagang malak, marami akong kalukuhan, ito na lang kayo, ka. <laughs> Mga kalukuhan ko na lang yata while growing up what I'm gonna uh, talk about it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Marami akong ginawang kalukuhan ba? <laughs> Which my kids did not inherit anything. I told my kids, I was a good kid. I never, I, ne I, I, ne I, I was not alapastangan to my parents. You know, I listened. Pero sa totoo lang, I school, I takot lang ako sa tatay ko. Pero ang nanay ko, hindi ako takot. Kasi ang nanay ko naman, even he's angry, he's not gonna do anything. She's not gonna do anything, only her mouth. She only talk, talk, talk. So I already used to that mouth. So I just, you know, I, I don't listen. <laughs> I have a lot of stories about me when I was growing up, but sometimes I Probably it's not good to tell some of it. One time, my mom, my mom, we were really, really poor. But my dad, my dad, but my dad was um, only a very disciplinarian guy. Uh, so he, but uh, actually, my brother was the root of um, everything for us to go to school. He was the first one. That's what the, the our poor uh, first brother, yeah. Because the two eldest are um, girls, so he was, he was just the one boy. So he he is struggle. He really interested to go to school, even though we are very poor. I, I will not I will not say we were poor. We are still poor. We, uh, <laughs> so I cannot say I, we were. I we are poor. So. Uh, my brother struggled to go to school, so he, he was the root of everything. That's why we went to we went to school, you know. Um, and then that, that's what happened. Uh, we help they helping each other. Kasi sila ang nauna. Kung yung mga natap mga second year high uh, college na sila, they. Uh, he will find them a work and then they uh, support themselves. Pero sa kami na, na tatlong nasa huli na, ay apat na pala kami. Uh, yung namatay namin kapatid, hindi yun nag-work while going to school. Uh, and three of us in the youngest part. Yeah, yung, uh, me, my sister, and my brother below me. 
hindi na kami nag-work uh, working student because hindi naka, naka ano na kami ano ba ang nakalungaw nakalungaw basit ba nakalungaw kami basit so uh, yun ang so ganun lang ang buhay namin so ako naman uh, I wanted to be a nurse always wanted to be a nurse or a midwife so a nursing is not uh, for us because we were a lot of us ang dami dami namin hindi namin kaya hindi kaya ng tatay namin na uh, suportahan ang isang nurse so uh, I, okay I wanted to be a midwife then so I went to the Gupan Lyceum Northwestern I was class 1976-77 I think um, and, and it was named Lyceum Northwestern and tapok ba ang street noon uh, si Francisco Duque tatay yata ni Francisco Duque ang may-ari noon kasi magkapangalan sila at saka magkamukha no? um, so we, uh, I was over there going to school and then uh, when I finish, wala namang trabaho doon, ay nanalangin na lang ako na kung bigyan ako ng Diyos ng mapapang <laughs> ng kasama sa buhay sana, yung ano na lang yung mag, uh, mag-aahon sa akin sa hirap, kasi mahirap ang buhay namin Hoy, nawala yung ano ko yung gloves ko sa kadadaldal asan na bisting yawa awang motor so that's uh, that's the story of our life um, uh, uh, 10 siblings and then um, 10 kami yung dalawang panganay sila lang ang hindi nakapag-aral kaming bilona walo kami uh, awa ng Diyos nakapagtapos kami ng college yeah. so pero sa <laughs> Pero ngayon, I don't, I don't think people will do that now, if they could do that. You know, um, maswerte kayo yung mga uh, people that um, sa, um, majority nowadays, the parents, the, they have some help from abroad like that. But as before, in a single one dollar, nothing, wala kaming help. We don't get any help from anybody, you know, or even relatives because we did not have any relatives in um, in abroad so ano lang pag-aaral lang ng mahirap ang buhay you know kaya ga- ganun ang ga- ganun lang umiikot ang mundo namin noon yun kaya even here in Hawaii even I came over here so still yet I am still good and um, planting any kind Yung asawa ko ang hindi na ano, my, my husband is the one that is not used to uh, do all this because hindi naman sila, uh, we started all na mahirap pero sila, uh, malalaki na sila noon, ay mabata pa sila, they were still young, they are already, the father was already over here, so hindi sila masyadong nakaranas ng, ng hirap. My brother-in-law was 10 years old when they came to Hawaii. So, hindi naman sila talaga, hindi na sila na, hindi na nila naranasan yung naranasan namin hirap habang lumalaki kami. Yun ang istorya ng buhay. Yun ang istorya ng buhay namin. Marami pa akong i-reveal sa inyo kanya lang. Baka naman magsawa kayong makikinig sa akin. Pero yung mga nakakakilala sa amin, alam nila. kung paano kami mm, makpas ma- maiiyak ka talaga kung paano kami kasi kung paano kami kasi lumaki sa hirap ba kaya naman ang Thank you lang kami sa tatay namin. We just thank my dad. Kasi siya naman talaga ang humubibig sa amin. At saka yung kapatid ko ba? Mahirap talaga ang buhay namin noon. 
sa dami naman namin kasi my father, may, may lupain kami pero kulang naman dahil sa dinami-dami namin. Nasub, nasubukan pa namin mag, mag ano ng magbubog ng ano ka, ng kainin ng bag boy bago kami papasok sa eskulahan magtatanim magtatanim muna kami ng palay you know agsika kami ganun pupunta kami doon pagdating na naman namin ng hapon we, we come back home in the afternoon we go out again and plant rice in the field or or, or um, go pick up some kamote for our pig because my mom raising pigs to support our um, our tuition fee yeah? kaya ganon kung maaalala mo talaga kung paano kami lumaki dyan kagaya kung maaari lang iiyak iyak na ako dito I hardly remember pero pero pag nasa youtube ako just ko na hindi ako nag i dito hindi ko hindi ako mag um hindi ako nagdra-drama kung alam lang ninyo kung paano kami nakapag-aral kami na yata yung pinakamahirap na nakapag-aral kaya pagka nagkita-kita kami ngayon ng mga kapatid ko we are very we were very happy when we see each other yeah because we remember how we grow up kung paano hirap ang mga dinanas namin Pagka nagkita-kita kami, ang nanay ko nasasaktan, sabi niya. Minsan ang ma my, my mom, napi kong my mom, sabi niya, you guys are like that because you guys, you guys did not grow up. You did not grow your kids the way I... Uh, the, the way I, you guys growing, so they did not experience anymore. Parang sabi ng nanay ko, Parang nai-insulto daw siya pagka, pagka ikunikwento namin. Talaga, alam niyo kung wala lang ako sa harap ng camera, talagang humagulgul na ako ba? Kasi talaga namang mahirap kami, mahirap ang pinagdaanan namin kaya. Pero lahat kami nagtsaga. Ako ang, sa aming mga magkakapatid, ako ang unang umalis ng Pilipinas. Buti na lang, buti na nga lang, binalikan, binalikan ako ng classmate ko, <laughs> classmate ko ng grade 4 na sabi ng, sabi ng teacher namin na kasi ang alam ng asawa ko matalino ako because I can talk ya, yeah. ang galing kong magsalita kasi ang alam niya matalino ako pero hindi naman ako matalino, matalino lang ako sa buwan na hindi naman.